Hi, I'm Michael Nadalin from Market Lead, and today's video is the first of a mini series on Google Ads e commerce success for November and December 2022. Now, the reason why I'm doing these video series is because I'm actually going to be sending these to my clients. These are the most important things to keep an eye on and just make sure that you have the maximum success in your e-commerce business over November, December, and even January and February, 2023. The reason why I'm doing this video series is the next two months are gonna be the biggest months for most e-commerce businesses for the whole year in terms of sales volume and revenue. It's really important to do this from the front end because you just can't do this during the promotional season. The reason why is because there are so many other companies bigger than yours who are gonna be spending more budget than you who will be doing this for months ahead who are gonna get ahead and you will be left behind. So let's start off with number one, planning. So planning is everything. We wanna start off with offers of promotions. We need to be clear exactly what the offer and promotion is gonna be over this period. Now, it doesn't have to be the same over the whole time, but if we're over very specific dates, you need to be clear what offer and what promotion is running, especially with your media buyers. They need to know when they're launching ads, pausing ads, changing ads. Offers are so important because this is why people are going to buy. They expect a deal. They expect a promotion. They expect to get a better price or a better opportunity than they would for the rest of the year. If you don't do it, your competitors will. And if you're selling generic or you're not your own branded products, people will get a better deal somewhere else. The next is assets. So creative is so important. This is what's going to stand out. This is what people are going to click on your ads being at Facebook, Google ads, YouTube, display network, anywhere else. You can't leave this to the last moment. This is where you have poor ads that are not aligned with what people want or not aligned with the promotional offer you're running. This needs to be done weeks ahead. If you haven't started this, you've got to do this now. The last one is fulfillment. This is one that actually gets overlooked for a lot of e-commerce businesses is they just want to sell, but they just want to sell out. But this is the time where you're going to be make more sales and more profit and more revenue. You want to make sure that you've got stock levels of either your high selling stock or stock that you expect that's gonna sell a lot of because it will. The next part is delivery as well because when people buy this, they expect it to be delivered fast. Amazon will have amazing prices and you'll get it the next day or at least in the next two days. Whilst not all businesses can do that, you need to ensure that you're competing on delivery as well because people just don't wanna buy and wait around. They need it now. If it's for Christmas, they'll need it before Christmas. If it's for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, they want it as soon as possible. They've been waiting for so long for this deal. You need to ensure that they get it as fast as possible. These unique selling points for fulfillment are as important as the offer and promotion as well. Next is budgets. This is a very simple area that people that people get wrong all the time. The reason why is because I think it's some simple linear thing. I spent 20K last month, I'll spend 20K this month, this month I'll spend 40K in November or December. It doesn't work like that because you need to ensure that your budgets are aligned with the actual dates as well. So making sure that you schedule your budgets based on a weekly level or for a selected dates as well. Underneath that as well is to ensure that you're doing it per channel. The reason why you need to lock these in is so you don't get swayed or seduced by the idea that one channel is going better than another and you're ripping budget away. You need to plan ahead. When you do plan ahead, when results are fluctuating, you're not going to get so emotional about it. You've already locked in your budgets. Assume that you can't change it and do the best you can within that. The reason why this is important is because one week, one channel will go well. The next week, the other channel will go well. This always happens across this season and it never changes. So you want to ensure that you're less emotional because when you're emotional with the sways of it, you'll be losing out on the benefit or the ramping up of the other channel one week to the next. This was just the first video of this five-part series over nine main areas you need to focus on for the e-commerce success. So going over again, planning, planning is everything, offers promotion, assets fulfillment, and the next part is budget. So I'll leave it there. Watch tomorrow for the next part of the video series. Now, you know what time it is. I'll keep this short. Like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest and greatest Google ads and paid ad news. And lastly, it's your time to be number one. So Market Lead is now taking on new clients. So if you're serious about increasing sales, increasing customers, and more importantly, scaling your business, Book in a strategy session with someone in my team and you'll get a free action plan. Just go to marketlead.com.au, go to the strategy session link and then book it in there. So remember, like, comment and subscribe. I'll keep this short. Enjoy.